since 2003, we had the Congress of the World and the Traditional Religious Leaders. And uh, I think uh, Kazakhstan is a model of the tolerance. We have special diplomacy. Uh, we would like to export stability, harmony, and faith and inter civilization dialogue to harmonize, to systematize all our activities. Uh, since 2003, we established an Azerbaijan Center for the Development of Interfaith and Inter Civilization Dialogue. Our main aim and main goal is to establish the uh, cooperation and tie it with the main players in the, uh, uh, the religion field. I mean, with the Middle East or the Holy See or Orthodox Church or the, the Buddhist or in China or in Japan or in the United States, doesn't matter. We need dialogue. The main deficit of this international affairs is this dialogue, dialogue between main players, between West and East, North and South. You're dealing with a very high level, the heads of the different respective religions. But at a national level between your communities which represent a number of faiths the muslim faith the christian faith uh, how do you ensure that there's mutual understanding and tolerance between these different religious groups within kazakhstan we have 136 nationalities in kazakhstan and 18 religious and uh, since gaining our independence in 1991 and 16th of December, Kazakhstan never ever experienced any turmoil or tensions based on inter-ethnic or inter-religious, uh, uh, let's say, uh, argues. So we are one of the single island in the post-Soviet area, generally in the Eurasian uh, as, uh, as zone. We never expect any conflicts, no blood, bloody conflicts. So I think we have moral political right to demonstrate our harmony in Kazakhstan. Kazakh does mean free men, free from any religions or political dogmas, any, any uh, you know, heart, let's say, dogmas. We are one of the war, uh, host, we we expressing our warm hospitality to any nations. So why we have this uh, many nationalities, uh, we respect each religions, we respect their traditions, their language, their history, and their aspiration and inspiration to keep and to establish their golden bridge, their own motherlands. So they are in Kazakhstan as a one family. Uh, the all uh, their citizen rights guaranteed by the, our national constitution. What do have, can we learn from Kazakhstan and interfaith understanding? Well, uh, uh, I think uh, this opportunity was very useful for us because uh, we have many stereotypes, many myths uh, in uh, Europe about Kazakhstan, also about the uh, situation of uh, religious minorities in this country. And I think uh, this visit and this meeting with Catholic Archbishop uh, Tomasz Peta, born in Poland, uh, but he's citizen of Kazakhstan, mm, was a good lesson for us. And uh, 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 it was very interesting because uh, we get many informations about the Catholic community uh, in this country mm, and inspire us for uh, better understanding of this crucial country in Central Asia. Archbishop, Your Grace, uh, you are the, the Archbishop to Kazakhstan. What is the situation of Catholics within Kazakhstan? What rights do they enjoy? Catholic Kazakhstan is a percent Catholics of Kazakhstan can combine uh, more, less than 1%, or about 200,000. Slava Bogu, što u nas jest svoboda religije i sovesti. Thanks to God who had the freedom of religion. I pa je tomu u nas jest i jeparhi, djecezis, i jepiskopi, i svešenjiki, i manastari. That's why we have bishops and churches, and we have freedom of religion and faith. Is there much dialogue between different religions within Kazakhstan? 70% of 
жители Казахстана – это мусульмане, около 30 христиане разных вероисповеданий, конфессий, особенно православные, их само больше, православные. So 70% of the Kazakhstan population mostly are Muslims, but 30% are Christians, and most of them are Orthodox. Отношения между разными религиями, конфессиями хорошие. И в том случае тоже большая заслуга властей, которые очень стараются помочь нам, чтобы не было экстремизма. So the relationship between different religions and confessions are very good, and that's thanks to the uh, our authorities who can assist in this uh, situation. Do you think there are any lessons that European countries can learn from the situation in Kazakhstan? Because we see there's growing Islamophobia and growing anti-Semitism in some European countries. Kazakhstan starts to build its life on the values of family, Свобода религии. So uh, basically, Kazakhstan is built on the uh, very good values like the values of the family and the freedom of religion. Эти ценности, как э, семья, как свобода, казах значит свободный. Она есть э, в сердцах людей. It's basically in the heart of the Kazakhs because Kazakh means a free man, if you translate it. И поэтому можно, можно учиться от Казахстана, конечно. And that's why you can learn from Kazakhstan. We see that John Paul II visited Kazakhstan in 2001. Will Pope Francis be visiting uh, Kazakhstan in future? Is, are there any plans? No, all is possible, all is possible. Uh, I think it's possible, but uh, for this moment, uh, we have not concrete uh, date and plan. No, it's possible, of course. I think we got it.